Decide to be more effective now. A lot of people downplay the importance of making decisions. In fact, a lot of us think that decisions are automatic. We only need to see where we are and the benefits that we stand to gain, and the decision will flow naturally. This is why most people assume that they have decided to change when they go on a diet, or they apply for a new job, or they apply for a promotion. It is no surprise that most of these people fail. Why? They completely assume one of the most powerful steps to personal success and effectiveness. Decision. You have to be as conscious as possible about your choice. Your power of choice is one of the most important personal powers you have. Don't assume that it is always in play. Don't assume that you have exercised it. You have to be as conscious as you can be about your choice of getting things done now. Two things are happening here. You are choosing to do things, and you're choosing to do them now. These must flow together. What needs to get done? First, you are going to decide that you will step up the quantity of your output. I don't care whether you're a sales rep, a lawyer, a doctor, a medical professional, a janitor, or a mall owner, or anything else. You have to do more. You have to produce more output. You have to see a lot more of your effort turned into actual units of results. It could be sales, website views, website visitors, or it could be mall visitors. It doesn't matter. You have to produce results that are quantifiable. You have to decide to boost quality. A lot of people are under the impression that just because they're able to crank up the amount of output they produce on a day-to-day -day basis that they're doing well. I wish it were that simple. Last time I checked, if you produce substandard work, it doesn't really matter whether you multiply it a million times. It will still be substandard work. That kind of work is still not going to get you promoted or earn you a raise. Instead, you're just producing more garbage. A key part of personal effectiveness involves stepping up the quality of your output. For example, if you are a sales manager, each contract you close must be worth a lot more than the previous contract. That's how you know you are stepping things up. If you are a mall owner, the quality of the shops and brands that you are attracting must be on the way up. That's how you know you're doing a good job. A lot of people are too eager to dispense with quality. They think that as long as they can rack up high numbers, that is good enough. I'm telling you, there is no such thing as good enough. If you multiply crap by a million times, it's still crap. In fact, you make your problems worse because there's more crap you have to deal with. Everything must relate to the big goals of your life. Becoming a more effective person means becoming a more purposeful person. You're not just typing out numbers into a computer because you have some sort of quota to fill. You're not just seeing patients at a hospital because you can't wait until you hit the golf links. If that's your mindset, you are just going through the motions. You're not really allowing yourself to become the most effective person you could be because there's no reason for you to pursue that goal. You have to be purpose-driven. What's the point of cranking out sales when it doesn't really lead to anything meaningful in your life? What's the point in studying tons of books when it doesn't really lead to a big goal in your life? Please understand that figuring out what to do and how to do it is not as important as understanding why you're doing it in the first place. You have to be motivated by the why because the sense of purpose, urgency, and focus that you get will give you the power and the immediacy you need to not only crank up quantity and quality, but also to be able to withstand all sorts of negativity, discouragement, and setbacks. Believe me, there will be setbacks. Ineffective people set themselves up in such a way that when the challenge arises, they fold like a wet rag. They say to themselves, well, maybe my best isn't good enough. Maybe I wasn't meant to do that in the first place. They just give themselves all sorts of excuses to make up for the fact that they are not driven by a big enough purpose. Now, what makes this a little tricky is the fact that the big goals in your life are completely personal. They may be very deep and meaningful to you, but they might not mean all that much to the next person. It's your job to zero in on these big goals because they are a part of your personal truths. As long as you're clear about them, you should be able to benefit from the sense of emotional urgency that they produce. Set a timeline to start acting more intentionally. Now, it's great that at this point you understand why you need to decide to be more effective. But the problem is, deciding to be effective and understanding the reasons why you should become so are not going to help you all that much. At this point, all these insights just resonate on an intellectual level. Until and unless you feel a sense of urgency, this is just going to be theory to you. All these insights are not going to push your life forward. It's kind of like going to some sort of seminar where you pick up very interesting information, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really move your life forward. 
it doesn't really change how you look at yourself as well as your place in your life. Unfortunately, unless the things that we learn with our minds doesn't sink to the level of our hearts, nothing is going to change. Seriously, this is why you need to set a timeline. This is when the theory or the possibility of change becomes a cold, hard reality. Because now, you're not screwing around. You are now setting a timeline for you to start acting more intentional. You're not going to allow your feelings to dictate when you should get your act together. You're no longer going to play games with yourself where you say that you will only take action when things are right. Most importantly, when you set a timeline to start acting on boosting your personal effectiveness, you're no longer going to be waiting for other people. I want you to be honest with me. Think about the key decisions that you've been holding off in your life. Chances are, at least one of those involve other people. Chances are, you're playing this game with yourself where you're saying to yourself, when X gets it together, I will do. Stop playing this game with yourself because when you do this, you're just giving yourself an excuse not to do anything right here, right now. You know what you need to do. You know the kind of actions that will take your life to the next level. But as long as you can see that another person hasn't quite gotten it together or hasn't arrived to where you are, you give yourself an excuse to wait for them. You're not really waiting for them. You're waiting for yourself. Maybe you're scared. Maybe you feel you have other better things to do. Whatever the reason may be, you're waiting. I'm telling you, the more you wait, the more ineffective you become. Set a timeline to start acting more intentionally right here, right now. Remember to set the right time to start. If you're feeling pumped up right now, I congratulate you. Obviously, this material is sinking in and is having the right emotional effect. Congratulations. However, I need to warn you, you cannot commit the common mistake of giving yourself so much time. I know you're pumped up about setting a time right now, but the time that you have selected may be too far in the future. Why is this a problem? Let me tell you, if you set a deadline that is so far into the future, chances are you will become busy with other stuff. You will fill up that time. So, by the time that date comes, you will find yourself completely unprepared. Believe me, I know this firsthand because I used to do this. Don't do that. Don't give yourself so much advanced time. Instead, it has to be close enough to the present moment so that you can remain focused on that start date. Now, this brings up the related problem of setting the start date so close to the present date that you end up intimidating yourself. Seriously, don't set up your start date so close to today that you end up freezing. You get so intimidated by what you need to do and the things that you need to go through and the changes that you have to make that you become really scared. You are afraid of the work that's involved and you get thrown off track. Shoot for something in between. It shouldn't be so far out in the future that you lose all sense of emotional urgency. It shouldn't be so imminent that you essentially freeze because you're intimidated. The bottom line? The bottom line is simple. Effectiveness starts with scheduling. When you schedule, it highlights the fact that you have decided to start taking action. Pick a schedule, stick to it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.